and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some discard aggro. Going to bring this deck back. We played it the first day of patch 1-6 and really enjoyed playing it. We got a bunch of new cards or cards that were updated, including Arena Bookie, probably my favorite one here. Um, each turn being able to discard your lowest cost card to draw one. We can get a whole lot of card draw in here with all of the discard and draw. We're also pretty aggressive and our two champions um, really do a good job of taking over the, the game. Draven creating those spinning axes is really nice with Arena Bookie because then you uh, the spinning axe does cost zero mana. So it's the lowest cost card and you're able to discard that and get a real card instead. An augment, Augmented Experimenter was amazing for us. This was definitely one of our best cards and really an underrated card. A lot of people play Chief Mechanist Zevi these days, but I'm liking Experimenter more in this kind of deck. Discarding your hand, there's a lot of good, good things to do with that with all the cards that want to be discarded or emptying the hand for Jinx. And then this card draws three immediately, where if you play a Zevi, Zevi doesn't draw you any cards. And then like the next turn, when you draw one, Zevi will create one extra copy of that card. And it'll also make them fleeting, so you've got to play them that turn. If you don't play them that turn, then they're burnt. And, and uh, you know, like, so it'll take a couple of turns of you get creating one extra card to be able to, um, you know, match the same number of cards of just drawing three immediately, like Experimenter can do. And Experimenter's also removal. That's really key, the deal three to an enemy. That was definitely really necessary of, you know, be, use this as removal, clear out blockers. Um, yeah, this I really like just the impact that the Augmented Experimenter has on the game. So we got three of those. Um, and, you know, like how if you get like multiple Augmented Experimenters in hand, that's kind of a problem because it does discard your hand. But this deck works around that because now you have ways to discard a card and draw one. You can use that with some Treasure and Urchin and stuff like that. Anyway, enough about the deck. Let's go play some games. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked on this Ranked Up Sunday stream. And let's see how it does. It's not as aggressive. Like, like there's this version that, that some more people are playing that's, that's more aggressive, that doesn't play Arena Bookie and plays, um, like, Arena Battlecaster. You can have that, and then you can have um, the uh, crowd favorite and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily saying that this deck's better than that deck. And in the mirror match, that one probably is better. But I think this this version is going to be better against removal heavy decks and control decks. And things like that, like where you have more card advantage in this version. I'm just going to keep this hand. I could see getting rid of the vision. But vision's like a good one to discard. Sure, I'll just keep it. Right, but yeah, so your your Draven and Jinx can definitely die in this deck, but that's you have so much card advantage that you can go find more of them. It's it's okay that that things die. Um, you know, like that's that's just how it is. Like, yeah, you don't have any transfusion to protect them, but there's the card advantage that you should be able to find more. That that's the thing. You're probably you're probably playing this as too much of a rush deck. Like this our this deck is really designed for the late game, and you you. You know, you can try to... Like, you don't have to play this as a rush deck. It can have very aggressive games as well, but it it's also a game that has, like... We can play long into the late game here. When you want a job done right. Oh, come on. It was obviously the absolute worst case scenario is them killing both arena bookies. I haven't seen I haven't seen Misfortune Sejuani in a long time. I don't know exactly why. I don't know why people would stop playing the deck. I I just don't know. I just have I haven't seen it myself in a long time. Woo! 
that really hurt. Man, those arena bookies were going to be incredible. You know, like discard jury rig, discard flame chompers, draw new cards. They were going to be awesome. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Our people. Yeah, it's possible that Sejuani's the best card in the in the whole game. Sejuani's definitely still very strong. I'm a people person. Come on, Kishan. I don't want to. You're bluffing. What is Twisted Fate doing blocking? Bookie's not a tempo card. Three cards, lowest every lowest discard. That's not tempo. Tempo means like playing cheaper things than the opponent and getting underneath them and winning the game before they stabilize. That's more of a, a value card. Man, great hand for them. Great hand. Definitely relying on those arena bookies that certainly hurt. But <laughs> one looks pretty gone. Have just done this before damage. I was thinking, like, do I need to have the pair of the Mystic Shot? I think I need to pair that with that. I need, I need a Rummage. That's not a Rummage. Safety will cost you. Great hand. GG's the. Kill my arena bookies. That was critical because basically the arena bookies would have turned all of those cards that were just that were gross in our hand, all those things that needed to be discarded. We would have discarded all of those and gotten real cards, and we would have gotten the value from discarding them and everything like that. Perfect mega rain. I. Where where did you see it announced that Targon is going to be the 19th of August? I haven't seen that announced anywhere yet. I'll keep this vision to go with the treasure. I know I know it's like it's definitely going to either be the 19th or the 26th. I haven't seen any announcement on what day it's going to be. But it's it's going to be one of those two weeks. I don't I don't necessarily think that that I don't think I don't necessarily think that was a bad matchup for us that we just played it looked that way because of how amazing my opponent's hand was like they they just had an amazing hand so it looked it's draven time. like a worse matchup than what it probably is in general Oh, Valerian Blade, was that was that us playing you?
Yeah, yeah, good games. Yeah, I was I was reliant on the bookies. My hand was trash. It was just all like the discard stuff. And so bookie was was super important to me. And so when the Mega Rain killed the bookies, I was done. My hand was just all like visions and the two mana O2 challengers and stuff like that. Problem's gonna be if they have a brittle steel or an elix elixir of iron. Now we're cooking. I've used more resources than, than they have, but I'm not super worried about that because we have the Augmented Experimenter, maybe a leveled up Jinx. We have some other ways to get those resources back for us. Now, what do I do here? I guess I want a House Spider and save three spell mana. And block, block. Don't know how anybody ever beats Frostbite Midrange. How does anybody ever beat this deck? It has everything. That's a good draw. Only the finest That's a lot better. Steel is the scariest of the Frostbite cards. Harsh Winds, Harsh Winds, like later on in the game, but like in, in those interactions, it was Brittle Steel was the thing that I was really scared of um, with the one mana. But yeah, Harsh Winds, Harsh Winds later with the six mana is of course amazing. Yeah, Valerian Blade, every time I play a Gangplank Control like that, all I do is face Deep and Anivia Braum and like those kind of things. Nothing with small units. It's always so frustrating. That's how it that's how it always is whenever I play a Gangplank Control deck. Like yesterday. And you know, we'd played one, you know, with Gangplank and Swain. It's really frustrating because those decks they look really cool, and it just never works out for me. I never have games like that last game that you just had. I've just never had a game like that. I'm, I'm winless against Anivia, Anivia Braum and, and Deep. I'm winless against those decks. Thing is like I can I can keep the board clear, but 
these Trifarian Assessors drawing six cards, you know, like that, that's just too many cards they've drawn. Just try to keep chaining augmented experimenters together. Or Jinx. Like, those are the two cards that we need to draw. Jinx and augmented experimenter. We've lost one of each so far in the top half of the deck. Whatever, man. Not my fault. We'll play the Frostbite midrange up next. That's the deck that I... We all know that I've always just said is the best deck. You just sound incredibly lucky, Valerian Blade. You sound incredibly lucky. I'm jealous. Rummage is good. Playing against Frostbite midrange is bad. So our one loss, whenever we played this last time, we were 4-1 with our one loss being Frostbite midrange. is bad. See more urchins and some treasures and all that kind of stuff. The party has arrived. This one's on the house. Good, I'll take that card. Got axes, need victims. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. Quite surprised they just let me deal all that damage. All the world on one arrow. I'm quite surprised that worked.
I don't have any good plays against Brittle Steel. I just really hope they don't have Brittle Steel. Yes, I mean this is the best deck in the game. That's why the deck's everywhere. It's the it's the best deck. doing with this. I just don't love I just don't love my options. You know, I, I was basically trying to figure out some way that I could set up whirling, you know, like use whirling death. I just I just don't love the options with it. Yeah, I guess I should have blocked Kato with the thing that I was going to Noxion Fervor. Sorry, I I was, you know, just really thinking about other stuff of trying to figure out how to how to do all that, and just didn't get to that point. Um, but yeah, y'all y'all are right. I should have done that. The block and uh, then I could have saved six life definitely. Can stop me. So I can go for the win now. So this is going to be 8, 16. It's going to be 16 Overwhelm. I only have th 3 health. So they are just going to kill me. I am dead. This is awkward how this works out. Oh, that, that took too long. This is awkward because let's see. Actually, I can't. I can't empty my hand, can I? Unless. Hmm. Okay, never mind. I don't get to go for the win now. Line up. Okay, that's good. That's good. That'll help out. That means I, I have the whirling death to save me. Go time. I'll do it myself. So I go to two. I don't think that they have any direct damage. They have no blockers left. And they're at two. With no blockers. Or like, oh sorry, I'm at two. But they're at ten with no with, uh, no blockers for any of this stuff. Watch 
It's basically, do they have harsh winds or not? Hopefully not. So I want to level up Jinx. The problem with doing this is Sejuani. That's probably the card that I need to be the most worried about. Sejuani also. I mean, I should I should be at eight. I should not be at two. I really should have blocked, you know, with that Noxion Fervor. I this was this is a game where I I really didn't play this game the best. Um, I really was un, undecisive, indecisive quite a bit with this game of trying to figure out what to do because I just didn't really like any lines. Um, and so maybe if I was more decisive on this, I, I, you know, I would have been able to save six life. I mean, and, and so that's my fault. I can't blame anybody. Can't blame anybody else for that. Besides me, can't blame the deck. Certainly. But no Sejuani. Please, no Sejuani. If they have Sejuani, I lose. And I'll be sad. If they don't, we probably win. And I'll be happy. Gotcha. Yay! Alright, so that's us probably winning. Probably winning. Yay. Alright, good win. Ha! We blew them all! That was a, a clutch whirling death that we had. That was a good win. Beating uh, Ash Sejuani, the best deck. Yeah, it's not unbeatable, that's for sure. Not unbeatable. Bilgewater Demacia. We don't have our payoffs right now. Oh, 
cards that uh, pay us off for having these discard things. You know, the things that come into play for free whenever they're discarded and stuff like that. So that would ideally be what we find. We're going to just discard this rummage away and look for some stuff. Hey, Moonlight, I'm doing very good. How are you doing? Have you left for Montana yet? Don't get in my way. Out with the old. There we go, there's a payoff. another bookie bookies are really good playing a bookie means we get you know just another free card that can't be a good card right they just spent three mana to do three damage to me i mean i will i will take that three mana and a card to do three damage burn away the shadows it's fine with me Hey, what's up, Jody? It's it's similar to the casino deck, but we get arena bookie. The card's great. Yeah, I'm doing awesome, man. Hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, I, I really like this card. This is a really fun card to play. Just get all sorts of free cards. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the casino deck too. Dang, so many get excited. We got all three of our get excited. I guess that means that we're supposed to start playing them. I guess that's what that means. Yeah, Draven's Draven's awesome. Yeah, I like Draven getting the um, you know, getting the work, the uh, zero mana cards, being able to discard those to Arena Bookie. Hmm. I guess I. I guess I get excited that also. The good news here is that we are emptying our hand for Jinx, right? Like, that's the good news. Like, I am going to lose my last get excited. It's going to be discarded. And I'll be drawing a different card. So that's the bad news. But the good news is we are emptying our hand quite quickly for a level of Jinx. Because a 4 mana 5-4 that draws extra cards and does all the things that it does. Pretty awesome. Slow down, will you? Yes, you and me, fish bones. <laughs> uh, we'll discard the mystic shot now. Time to get rowdy. They use the tough card. Ranger's resolve. Trade Ranger's resolve for jury rig, please, please. Uh, darn. All right, we're hoping these two cards are, are both cards that they don't mind being discarded. Uh, not exactly. Yeah, that was not exactly the best. Oh, well, I'm discarding them. Gonna level up this jinx. Okay, 
I'll take those. You're covered. Yeah, no reason to attack. I'm gonna sit back and be our Jinx deck that's going to try to outgrind our opponent. I like where we're at right now, but you know they they have like some crazy stuff that can happen with. You know, maybe they have another Relentless Pursuit and attack again here. That's good. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not emptying my hand this turn. We'll discard the Experimenter to draw one. Cool. And I'll have Get Excited discard the Vision. Because basically I couldn't I couldn't play Get Excited and Experimenter, so we we're going to be waiting a turn. So they miss, so Bilge Water on top. I wonder if they have anything besides Misfortune. Could just be Misfortune, like where I should keep the Get Excited to kill Misfortune. I think Petty Officer? I could see that. Um, no, I mean, I don't want to experiment her into Rocket. Do I? I mean, let's see, that would discard, that would discard a Jinx. So we would, would, that would get rid of our second Jinx just for good. Um, you know, we'd kill a 4-3. No, I think we can wait. We'll play this just right now in case, just in case they would pass. We don't need to save for Misfortune because we have the... The Experimenter can kill Misfortune, right? So, yeah, we don't need to save this for Misfortune. Is that going to get the Ranger's Resolve? Oh, single combat. That is worse for me. For sure. That takes out two Jinxes because that other Jinx just uh, didn't resolve anymore. Um, yeah, that was worse for me. How easy on the That's hands, an new. easy block. Let's go to three. I don't, want it. I don't know. Bookie. Bookie's going to keep on helping me find my last Jinx. There's, I don't think the rocket's as valuable as Experimenter is for next turn. All right, we're at too low of light total. I'm sorry, Bookie. This card has to be Ranger's Resolve, right? Sure feels like it. Our so I'm. This is the play of me thinking that they drew Misfortune. Pretty easy attack in with the 2 2 if I just play the urchin first. It's a messy attack that I, I you know, don't don't really want to deal with. This has to be Ranger's Resolve that they're just sitting on. Yep, there it is.
Okay. I think... Yeah, I guess we just noxion fervor that thing. And I'm hoping they can't do another three points of damage with just a Scythria and then us both top decking. I still have a lot of Dravens. I don't think I've seen Draven at all yet this game. I don't think I have, so I think I still have all three Dravens. We have one Jinx left. I think we still have all three Dravens. You know, if they, if they want to trade two twos, we're doing nine damage to them, so we're putting them on, on a two-turn clock. Benji boy! Hey Benji boy! Thank you so much for that resub. Two awesome months. I think that's the first sub of the day, right? I didn't miss one, did I? Nope, looks like that's our first one today. Thank you very much. All right, just waiting on the opponent. Yeah, we're playing some some rank up decks today. We just got John Bannerman at Vrom. That had a good showing considering, you know, maybe our most powerful card is Genevieve Elmhart and we didn't draw it a single time in any game. Um, in any of the five games, we still had a pretty good showing there with the three, two. Could have been a four, one also if I would have played it differently. And then, yeah, now we're on discard aggro, and then we're going to be playing Frostbite Midrange and Zed Shen after this. Sunday fun day, that's right. That is right. Grizzled Rangers, that's a good draw. That's a lot better than my, uh, you know, my draws of... Flame Chompers and Vision. Have y'all noticed people just play super slow these days? Not like just this opponent. It seems like all of our opponents these days have just been playing so slow. I can't. I mean, I play pretty slow too, I guess, at times. But at a time like this, I could. Seems pretty straightforward what to do. No, no cards in hand. I'll just click OK. But do you think do you think you see the do you think you're paired against the people that are learning in master rank? Ideally, they just take this. Stay back. Darn. Not been good. This has really been five poor cards in a row. So there's our first Draven. Nine cards left in the deck. So good news, maybe we find another Draven. 
Like, if it, you know, we're only got eight cards left. Two Dravens, one Jinx. We have a 37.5% chance of drawing a champion. Augmented Experimenter is my best draw if we have one left. I don't think we do. I think we went through all three Experimenters. That was not a good draw. I could trade my hand for the tracker. Yeah, we've drawn all three flame chompers here. When we're when we're both in top deck mode, we've drawn all three flame chompers now. <laughs> in six cards. Or seven cards, I guess. Yeah, their hand's a spell. It's either it's either Ranger's Resolve or the Rally. It's likely okay, so it's likely the Rally. <laughs> My shield is yours. Uh, that means if it's Rally, it's game. Wow. Oh, never mind. It was Genevieve Elmar. on Genevieve Elmhards. <sighs> they didn't they didn't have a chance to use like I had I had blockers that killed Genevieve. They didn't have a chance to use rally. We're gonna go on a little bit of a different plan, look for more early game stuff, and not play Jinx immediately. And therefore, Mulligan at the Jinx. This doesn't really block in this matchup. You know, same matchup again. They're going a little bigger with the Quins. I, I like this version with Quinn more than the version with Lucian. I think this is a better deck. rummaging away the house spider but house spider is also nice to have no prey no um, pay. it's also a nice one to have with the vision like that those pair pretty well together So I can take a lot of damage, but then have... But then have these two in play for the for my vision. Okay, they didn't attack too much. That worked out. Now they have another Bilgewater card. Good 
good chance. It's another misfortune. Kind of want to just like have these go upstairs. Well, maybe a kill misfortune. Let's see. What if we just what if we just throw five damage up at them, put them down to six? Maybe we just do that, and then this next turn, then we have augmented experimenter. Maybe we just start burning them. New recruit reporting in. Oh, uh, well, that, my plan just went horribly wrong. Yeah, but I would love to have my removal spells now. Because obviously I want to play Jinx. Uh, that, that went terribly. Oh, well, we're going to just, we're just going to, or we're just going to discard the Jinx. That was the, the worst card to, to possibly draw. Um... And yeah, we just kill this one. I'm on the verge of something. That's how it is. If they also have Rangers Resolve, then this is just a real nightmare. Thankfully, they don't have Rangers Resolve. Okay, we found a new Jinx. That is good. Plan working out a little better. Now the two-one challenger can't just kill my three health units. Scouting ahead. No, getting rid of that misfortune's better with staring down the 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 one, like all that kind of stuff. This is the best play. Still heart, steady aim. Eat up, friend. How easy on the hat, they're new. A morsel of Dead. There we go. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Thankfully, they just keep missing on those. The party has arrived. My favorite client. Yeah, they have had some poor bannerman luck. That's for sure. They've already played two misfortunes, so like it could be the third misfortune or whatever other Bilgewater card they have. I don't know what else they're playing. Charge! Just like hunting thresher geese. Scouting ahead. Pretty good about this one. They have more um, information about what they have left that you know, could be the Bilgewater card than we do. 
walls are made to be broken. Like buildings. Or people. You should try blinking sometime. So this should be game. I don't know what Bilgewater card would, would get rid of the Jinx or have them gain life. You know, like Citrus Courier, they'd have to have Plunder. Um, you know, I can just go Spinning Axe, discard both of these to create. To create a... Draven. Super Mega Death Rocket, or we just use an Octa Fervor. I'll just use an Octa Fervor. We blew them all up! Alright, GG's. Oh, not not quite there. Not that, not that thing. Okay, so not the... Or, no, did we get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got the cheeky emote. That pretty cheeky emote. Okay, now we're working towards. Now we're at 136, so we're just four away from that card back. Um, so yeah, we didn't have the most luck there with that deck. I, I like this one though. Like I was talking about, this may not like this is more my play style of play the longer game and especially Arena Bookie. I this is Arena Bookie is all about my play style. I really like this card. But what may be more the just cutthroat and efficient and uh, you know, maybe the more successful version would be with the the crowd favorite and arena battle caster and that kind of stuff. I have been pretty impressed playing against that version um, that's just going a lot more aggressive. And so if you're somebody who likes playing a lot more aggressive, you know, you can play uh, and basically experimenters could be crowd favorites and um you know arena bookies can be arena champions and you probably want a third mystic shot in there also um but yeah you can you can make this a lot more aggressive like that if that's more your play style um but uh yeah there we go that's the that's the discard aggro definitely um definitely a fun deck and i just really like playing arena bookie now i'm so glad this is a two mana two two instead of the three mana three or three mana two one that it was before all right, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments also. I would appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.